Hey guys, so I am getting ready to head down to the Rockland, Roseville, Greater Sacramento area again today. My name is Nick Rowe. I'm a realtor selling million dollar real estate in Silicon Valley and the peninsula. It's not HGTV, but we make it work. This is real life real estate, selling Silicon. Like I said, it's not just me. A lot of people are selling their homes in the Bay Area and they are relocating out to the greater Sacramento area. And we are helping some clients with that transition, moving from the Bay out over there towards Roseville. So we're gonna go down, we're gonna take a look at some of the communities out there, some of the new developments, see if there's anything with a quick move in. Because also, like I mentioned, the rates are going up. Had a little bit of a dip with the whole uh, Ukraine-Russia situation but the trajectory is going up for the rates. So it's better if you can get a quick move in or if you can get something on the market to lock it in. Better than having to wait six months, nine months, maybe even a year because of all of these supply chain issues. So let's go ahead and hit the road. So guys, we are taking a look at the K. Hovenian Homes, the Bennett model in Roseville. And right when you walk through, you are met with an area that has a study that I think you might be able to include a bedroom as well in the upgrades. You also have a bathroom that can be set up as a full bath, not just the half bath down here. And we'll just keep going through, keep exploring. Nice closet space down here as well. And if we keep moving through, we are met with the heart of the home, a nice island, nice countertops, and just tons of natural light just coming through. And then right over here, we're gonna have the dining area as well as the main entertaining space. And let me just give you a look right here. It's really nice because you get a lot of natural light just flooding into the room. And it feels very open, very spacious. It really did a great job with the floor plan, just making it flow. You also get a really nice patio area in this one. And you know, it is pretty well priced for the lot size for Roseville. So this is a really nice uh, take right here. And then right before we go up the stairs, we also have an extra nice little storage space. So we're heading up the stairs right now. And up here is going to be where we have a nice little loft section. Great for entertaining. All of these new homes, they have that downstairs area, and then you also have that upstairs area for entertaining with the lofts nine out of 10 times. And then we also have our bedrooms right through here. So this is going to be bedroom number one. Now it could be a nice little nursery. Again, nice windows, nice closet space. Bedroom number two. And then in our upstairs bathroom, we're gonna have that double vanity, which is a really important theme and something that we're seeing is pretty common in a lot of these new home developments because you know they are going to be sharing the bathroom. So you really wanna have that double vanity. If we go through here, we get a nice little washroom section. You know, very functional. They even have a shelving right there so you can do the folding after. And then we are met with the primary bedroom. Again, nice natural lighting just coming in through here. Good size space for the room. And it leads us into the ensuite. Now with the ensuite, we have the standing shower. Again, another double vanity. Nice little section here, just letting in some more natural lighting into the bathroom. We also have our private section for the John. And then the closet. It's gonna be a good size closet, but the thing that really strikes me about it is it has a window in there too, so you get natural lighting even in the closet. So next up guys, we're gonna be taking a look at the Rubia model. And for this one, it comes with an extra little ensuite here. So we have a separate entrance and this would be an upgrade, I believe, but you have the separate entrance. You have a little section here with the washer and dryer, little kitchenette section, and then also the room with its very own ensuite. So this sort of uh, section of the house is gonna be divided up. And this is the main difference really between 
the Charles and the Rubias, this ensuite section here would just be bedroom number four for the Charles model. Uh, the salespeople were telling me earlier. And then also there's not gonna be in the Charles a bathroom underneath. So this is the optional upgrade for the suite right there. But let's go ahead and take a look at the main house. And it just draws you in because you have the sliding glass door, you have great big windows just flooding it with natural light and it just calls you forward. So we're gonna go ahead and answer that call and we find ourselves in the heart of the home. We have the entertaining space right there. We have the dining area set up here. And then of course we have the kitchen. And if we take a look at the kitchen, we have a big island right here with lots of cabinets and gives you that extra counter space. You have that wraparound counter, nice appliances, little section over there that leads into the garage. We have our dishwasher and our sink looking out through the window so you get that natural light just flooding in to the kitchen. And the whites and the light tones of the grays really makes this place feel enormous. It's a good size, but the way that everything is just set up and pulled together just makes it feel extremely open and extremely spacious. So right at the top of the stairs, we are met with the loft, which is another giant entertaining space. The house is very much divided between the bottom floor and the upper floor. So up here, we have that loft. We also have this other section, which has a lot of uh, shelving, it looks like. And that leads us into the washroom. Now, this washroom feels bigger than the other one we were just in. And I think the reason for that is it does have a window. So it lets in that natural light where the other one did not have the window. And just adding a window can make this space feel so much bigger and less cramped. That one was a little bit small and this one just expands upon that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the bedrooms now. And it looks like right off the bat, we have found the primary bedroom right here. Again, you get those big windows letting in the natural light. They have the curtains drawn at the moment. Good space here for if you have any furniture, like any built-ins from Ikea or anything like that. And then if we walk into the ensuite, we get that double vanity. Standing shower right through here. Good size for the shower. Again, they like letting in more natural light by adding in a lot of windows with this builder. That's one thing that I'm noticing. We have another window just letting in natural light there. And then we have the closet. Now this closet for this model does not have the window it looks like in this particular one. I'm not sure if that's an upgrade, but I did notice that in the last one, we had the window in this one, we did not. So let's check out some of the other bedrooms and we have bedroom number two here. Again, a good size for the bedroom, nice size closet. And you get the nice window through there too. And then we have bedroom number three. This one looks like it's Star Wars theme, so something after my own heart. And then if we make our way back here by the washroom again, we get the shared bathroom for those two. And we have the double vanity, you know, that shower tub combo. And you get some more light just coming in through the window there too. So one more stop before we head back down to the bay. I got myself some coffee refueled, fix my hair a bit. And we're gonna check out this open house on the resale side. No, it is not a new home, but when you're looking at new homes, you wanna get an idea for the resale side of the market as well. See what's on the market and see how far your money goes because new homes have been appreciating so fast and there is such a long wait list for them that you might as well take a look at the whole market. So don't limit yourself just looking at new homes. You can find something that is fairly new this one right here is a great location. It's super close to the Fountains and Westfield Mall. So, you know, great location. There's a nice walking trail. I'm gonna check out this open house, see what it's like, and then I'll check back in with you guys. Hey guys, so the open house is pretty nice. You know, nice area, pretty busy. A lot of interest. It is definitely picking up here in the uh, Roseville area. We're right by, like I said, the mall. So great location, nice walking trail. I'm gonna head back. It looks like the storm clouds are coming in, so I'm probably gonna be driving back to the bay with some rain coming down, and I will check up with you guys next time.